Hi everyone, I welcome you all in the discussion of solutions of Akash National Talent Hunt exam Anthe 2019 and I am discussing the chemistry paper of class 9th. Code is 9E and this paper was conducted on 20th October 2019. Let us begin with the very first question of this paper that is question number 16. Have a look on that. This question states the principle behind the separation of kerosene from a mixture of kerosene and water is that. It means in this particular question we need to just identify first of all the separation technique and then the principle of that technique. If I talk about this mixture of kerosene and water, this is basically immiscible mixture. These two liquids are immiscible and to separate them we generally use separating funnel and if I talk about the principle of the use of separating funnel that is based on the fact that immiscible liquids separate out in layers on the basis of their densities and yes on the basis of this you can simply say that the correct answer for this particular question is option 2. Here clearly written immiscible liquids separate out in layers depending on their densities. While if I talk about option 1, denser particles are forced to stay at the top when spun rapidly. This is the principle of centrifugation technique. Similarly, both components dissolve in the same solvent. This is the principle of chromatography technique. Next is non-volatile components do not evaporate easily. This is the principle of evaporation technique. So very simple, in this particular question the correct answer is option 2. Now, it's a turn for next question. The question number 17. Generally, the composition of a sample of steel is, we have different options given here and if I talk about steel, the major component of steel is iron. That is approximately 98%. So, if you look at the given options, there are two options. In two options, 98% iron is given. Now, along with 98% iron, there is also the presence of carbon and other elements too. So, in this case, if you look at the option 4, there is 2% sulfur. It's not correct. In steel, there is the presence of carbon. That's given here. And if it is so, definitely the correct answer for this question becomes option Three. Now, after this question, it's a turn for next question. Let's have a look on question number 18. A student prepared homogeneous solution by dissolving 65 gram ammonium chloride. So, we have 65 gram ammonium chloride that he dissolved in 185 gram of water. Further, he stored it in beaker A. Done. Solution is prepared. Another student took 4 by 5 of solution from this beaker A and stored it in another beaker B. It means in beaker B only 4 by 5 of the original solution is present. Now, the amount of the water that should be added to the beaker B to make its concentration 20% weight by weight once again. Now, in this question, first of all, we need to identify the concentration of previous solution. We need to solve this and as per the question, what is the mass of solute that was 65 gram ammonium chloride, you know and further, what was the mass of solvent that is water. It was, let's check once again. In the question, it is 185 gram. So, I'll just mark here 185 gram. Now, what would be the concentration of this solution? Very simple, you can easily find it out. So, the percentage concentration that is weight by weight we are considering that is 65 upon 
the mass of the solution 185 plus 65 into 100. And if you solve this, you will find that this is equal to 26 percent. Now, this is the concentration of initial solution that was placed in beaker A. So, I will just mark here this is the concentration of the solution that is present in beaker A. Clear? Now, another student, he has taken four fifth of this solution. So, what would be the amount of four fifth of this original solution? Initially, that was 250 gram. And the student has taken four fifth of this. That's why now the amount of solution is here 200 gram. This is basically amount of solution in the next beaker, beaker B. It's clear? Now, what he did? He has to just make the final concentration 20% by addition of water. So, in this particular case, what he need to do? Now, let's find out the amount of solute present in this beaker. 200 gram is the total amount of the solution. So, we know that the concentration is 26% weight by weight. That should be equal to the mass of solute that's ammonium chloride you know that and it should be divided by the mass of solution what's that the mass of the solution you are taking 200 gram this time multiplied by 100 very simple so what would be the mass of solute in this case mass of solute would be 26 is now 26 into 2 that is 52 gram you have this. So, you have mass of solute, you have mass of solution also. With the help of this, you need to just find out that amount of water that should be added to make the final concentration 20%. So, now this is the next part of this question that is, I will just mark here, this is the second part. Now, here we need to just find out the mass of water added to make final concentration equal to 20% is say that is x gram. So, in this case, your equation will be slightly changed. Final concentration 20 percent should be equal to the mass of solute it is 52 gram divided by the total amount of the solution 200 gram it was initially and you are adding x gram more and then just multiply 100 and if you solve this you will find out the value of x is equal to 60. So, this is 60 gram amount of the water that is added to solution to make the final concentration 20 percent. So, in this case, we need to just mark here the correct answer. Where it is given? Yes, it is given here in option 1. So, we just need to write it here also. Answer is option 1. I hope it is clear. Now, is the turn for the next question. Let's move towards that.